Hello and welcome to Image Me Academy series, the series where we help you to get the most out of this photo editing application. If you want to learn more about this app created by Skylum Software, make sure that you visit our website cleverphotographer.com. For now, grab your phone, put on the app, we are about to start. In today's tutorial, we will cover the sky replacement tool in the ImageMe app. We will describe every slider in this tool to ensure you get the most out of it. Now let's talk about what is the sky replacement tool for and how does it work. The sky replacement tool in the ImageMe app automatically analyzes an image, identify where the sky begins and ends, recognizes if the water is featured in the picture and then seamlessly replace the sky and adds reflections to any body of water to create a realistic look. To start using the tool, you need to click on the Select the Sky button. Once you do that, you will enter the sky library. The app at this moment comes with 9 sky collections offering 45 beautiful skies. To navigate through them, first you can slide through the different collections and then you can slide through the different skies. Once you select different sky, it will then automatically replace it on your image. If you want to reset it, just click on the first picture with the original sky on it. When you slide all the way through to the end, you will enter the My Sky space. Through here, you can add your own skies if you want to keep the edit more original. To use it, it's really simple. You just click on the plus sign and then select the sky in your folder and then just click on Add. This way, it will be added to your sky library and it will be kept there for all your future edits. Now let's just reset the sky and let's find one that is more suitable for this specific image. Let's go for the dreamy collection and then just slide through. This one is looking good. This one even better. And how about this one? This one is the best. So once we finish, once we have our sky selected, we can click again on tools, which will bring us back into the main menu. Once the sky is replaced, you will get three additional set of controls. Adjustments, orientation and mask. Let's start by looking at the adjustments. We're going to open it by clicking on it. And then the first option here is the Relight. The Relight slider adjusts the exposure of the scene to match the new sky. You can simply slide it on your screen and see how good of a job it does to your own image. To reset any of the slider in the app, you simply double click on the slider. For us, we're going to increase it a little bit and we're going to continue to the next control. The next control is the defocus slider. This slider, defo this slider defocuses the sky and is useful when a shallow focus is used with a foreground object. So for example, if the lady would be the only thing that would be in focus, you would want your sky to be a little bit defocused, more soft. For this, you would use the defocus slider. So let's increase it again by sliding over the screen. You can see how it got much softer already. And if we want, we can really push it all the way to make it really, really soft. Again, if we want, we just double click on the slider and it will reset. Moving on to the haze slider. You can use this slider to add a soft haze to the sky. Haze is helpful in matching a replacement sky to the original image. Let's try it. When we increase it, you can see how we get a lovely haze to our sky. Again, we're going to reset it and move to the next slider, which is the warm. You can use this slider to adjust the color temperature of the image and of your sky. When we go towards the right, you will see that we're going to make it warmer. And then we go towards the left, we will make the sky and the overall image a little cooler. Again, let's reset it and we move to the next option, this time called Brightness. The Brightness slider allows us to adjust the brightness of the new sky. We can make it darker or lighter. This again helps to match the sky with the original scene. 
when we go towards the right, we will make the sky and the overall image brighter. And when we go towards the left, we will make the sky and then the overall image darker. Finally, the next two options, reflection and water, will only be visible on the image with the water on it. So I will show you that in a moment, but still, let's talk about it. The reflection slider allows you to adjust the intensity of the reflection on your picture. On the other side, the water slider allows you to blur the reflected sky to better match an uneven water surface due to waves or ripples. Again, I will show you that in a moment. So those were all the adjustment sliders. So let's go back to the menu and continue. This time we're going to look at the orientation menu. So let's select that and we will move on. There are four options and four adjustments we can make in the orientation menu. The first one is called vertical. Once again, it's slider and the vertical slider allows us to position our sky vertically following the position of our horizon. So let's try that. Let's push it to the right. And by pushing it towards right, you see that the sky is going up. When we go the other way around, when we go down, you will see that the sky is going down. Again, same way, reset it by double tapping on the slider and moving on to the next slider, this time the horizontal slider. With this slider, you can freely position the sky horizontally and place it exactly where you want it in the scene. Both of the sliders, horizontal and vertical, uses the AI built in the application, which will perfectly scale and fit the sky into your image following the horizon. Now to adjust the horizon, we need to go to the third control. And this is where we can use the slider to adjust the position of the actual horizon line. Let me show you. When we go towards the right, you will see how we adjust the horizon and it goes up. And when we go towards the left, we are again adjusting the line and moving it down. To reset it, double click on it. And let's move to the fourth and final option here, where we can actually flip the sky. You can use the flip switch to change the direction of the sky in your photo, following the direction of the light or shadows. So let's have a look when we click on it you can see how the sky flip from one side to the other. Depending what we like, maybe let's keep it flipped and let's go back to our menu. The last set of controls is called mask. Let's click on it to open it. And again, we have a three set of controls here. The first slider is called global. This slider affects how the texture is mixed into the scene. A higher value will increase the amount of the new sky that is added. After that, the next option is close gaps. This slider is ideal for adjusting details such as trees or fires. And finally, the option number three, fix details. This slider fixes small imperfections around the edges of your new sky. So those are the mask controls and they can be very helpful, especially when you're working on complex and complicated scene. So this is how you select a new sky, then you adjust it, adjust its orientation and mask. Now, before we're going to finish, I have one more thing I want to show you. So let's bring another image in. Let's just select the plus sign, select the new image. As you can see, the first tool that is open is the sky replacement tool. We again looking at the sky library. And for this image, we're going to use our own custom sky. So let's scroll all the way to the end. And here in my skies, let's select the sky we added earlier. The application again, scan the image and then just add the sky. Let's go back into the tools. And let's go into the adjustment. This image is a perfect example of using the last two options with the reflection and water. So let's start with the reflection. Let's zoom in a little bit and let's adjust it. By default is on 50%. We can increase the slider. And by doing that, we will make the reflection much stronger. When we bring it the other way around, all the way down, we pretty much remove it completely. 
So again, let's double click on the slider, which will reset it. We get the 50% of the reflection. And by increasing the slider and moving it towards the right, we add more reflection to it. Now moving on the water slider, don't forget that it allows you to blur the reflected sky in the water. So let's push the slider. First, it's gonna go halfway and you can see how it's already softer and we can really push it all the way up and it will soften the sky completely. So you can only see the highlights of the sky reflected in the water. Depending on your scene and depending on your project, this may be helpful depending on the size of the waves and ripples. So there you have it. This is how you use the sky replacement tool in the Image Me app. For today, we are finished. But don't worry, we have so much more content covering Image Me app and Luminar Neo on our YouTube channel. Make sure you check one of these videos and continue learning and improving your photography skills.